If Bindi, Sindur, Tajal, they're all kept out of the ambit of GST, why can sanitary napkins not be exempted? In fact, this is the kind of question that the Delhi High Court now has posed to the central government. The High Court bench said sanitary napkins were also as much a necessity and therefore cannot be any explanation for taxing them and putting other products from the exemption category. The court also expressing unhappiness over the absence of any female representative, any women member in the 31-member team of the GST Council. Let's get in further inputs. We have with us our correspondent Anisha with those details on the kind of questions here now, rightfully so there, that have been posed by the Delhi High Court to the centre. Well, the Delhi High Court in yesterday's hearing did pose a couple of very uh, pertinent questions to the GST Council with regard to the 12% GST on sanitary napkins, which are a necessity for women in India. Now, the, uh, the court, as you, as you also just pointed out, observed that when you can have no, no GST on something as uh, frivolous as uh, Kajal and Vintis, uh, that, which are basically things that women use for beautification, then why do you have to have GST on something that is uh, necessary for basic medical hygiene? So uh, this is something that the High Court has asked, especially since the government has maintained a stand, has taken a stand that uh, the GST rate was uh, put at 12% to protect domestic manufacturers, which is a, uh, which is a uh, slightly strange argument that the government has taken that they cannot reduce GST further because the input tax credit system that, is, that exists will then give a more uh, favorable market conditions to the uh, uh, companies manufacturing uh, sanitary napkins to the foreign companies and the domestic manufacturer who will be so in that's financial the explanation trouble. explanation and clear which sign. The central government is saying. Which with is the not, government, with the government looking, taking into account the kind of loss that the domestic manufacturers would face, but entirely wanting to look away uh, from this issue of sanitary napkins being a necessity in one's life as far as women are concerned, not taking that into consideration. And this is a question, Anisha, which has been part of Mirror Now's campaign as well, time and now raising the same issue. And it's interesting to note that you have the Delhi High Court now having posed those same questions to the central government. Well, yes, this is a very serious issue that has to be taken care of because this is, in fact, these observations are made in a PIL that has been filed raising the question as to why is it that the GST Council is not looking into the fact that these something, uh, sanitary napkins are something that are medically uh, and uh, necessary for women of, uh, in India and why is it that uh, to, uh, the 12% GST rate has pushed up the prices of something that is an actual, uh, as a, that is a very, a uh, necessary thing for women in India. Now, the problem is that the GST Council is adamant in this activist, Ms. Brinda Adige, with us on the phone line. Thanks for being with us, Brinda.